We want to create an Excel formula to take horizontal labels and convert them to a vertical list. And we'll see how to do it in Microsoft 365 and also the old school method that works in any version. The new school of formulas is the new calculation engine in Microsoft 365 and in Excel 2021. And it's all about building the formula in the top cell and allowing the results to spill from that top cell. Now we want to take these labels and list them vertically, but I want to preface each label with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So in the top cell, we'll use the new function sequence. Now for rows, if I tell sequence 5, it'll spill the numbers 1 to 5 down the rows. And the information about how many rows we want comes from how many columns there are. So I'll highlight. And we don't have to lock because this spills the result from the top cell. So if I close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, it spills the results. Now, dynamic spilled array formulas do not live in any of the cells below the top cell. The formula only lives in the top cell. Now I'm going to F2 to put it in edit mode. And I want to join this, so I use ampersand. And in double quotes, open parentheses, space, and double quote. If I Control Enter, I have 1 to 5, F2. And now I need to join it. And I want to take those horizontal labels and transpose them. So I simply highlight inside of transpose close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, bam, I have taken the horizontal labels and listed them vertically 1 to 5. Now with the old school formula, we're going to have to build a formula that we can copy down. And the way we get the numbers 1 to 5 as we copy a formula down is we use the rows function. Now we're sitting in G18, so I type G dollar sign to lock the row reference 18, colon, and then G18 we will not lock. Now right now, rows will count 18 to 18 and get one row. But because there's no dollar sign in front of the 18, when we copy it down, it'll move to 19. So in the second row, it'll count two rows. That's an expandable range inside of rows. Control Enter, and we have to copy it down. But this method, last cell F2, that's how you create a number incrementer when you copy a formula down across the rows. Now in the top cell, F2, we'll join it to parentheses space, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now we just need to get somehow as we copy the formula down each row to extract the first item, the second item, the third item. So in the top cell, F2, and we join it to the lookup function index. Now the array, those are the five labels up at the top. And we need to lock this because we're going to copy it down. So F4, comma. And we actually need a column number, meaning in this range right here, I need the first column, second column, third column. But because this is a one-way array, backspace, the row number knows whatever number we put here to simply extract positionally first, second, third, and so on. Well, of course, since we're copying this formula down, Control-C, Control-V, rows will do exactly that. As we copy down, it'll give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and index will look up the correct label. So Control-Enter, copy it down, go to the last cell and F2. There's our old school method. Now here's your bonus, and this is a no bonus. In the top cell here, I do not want you to do this. And guess what? It'll work because row of A1 is 1. And when we copy it down to the bottom, row of A5, well, that's 5. The problem with this method, and guess what? Lots of famous Excel MVPs use this method, and some of you out there do, is if you come up here and right click Insert, Reverse, BAM, A1 is now A2. But when you confine your number incrementer to a range where the formula lives and you use rows, or if you're copying across the columns, you use columns and lock 
the column reference, that problem never happens. All right, new school, old school, whatever you're using, those are Excel formulas to extract horizontal labels and list them vertically. All right, we'll see you next video. Thank <laughs> you.